What's up guys, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll talk about grinding on solo quest for now, because this event is still running for some days, you can see here, 8 days left. The new event that just got announced, we have the same HP cap for status, so it's actually way easier to grind here, because it's just one stage, this Higatayoka Park, the first uh, node, there's just one enemy, that is the Gobi Yugobi. And it's weak to shadow, but don't care about that. You can actually kill it with just so many different characters because the HP pool is pretty small. Now, uh, you should be farming some other stages as well because look here, drop rewards. We see this red item here. When you go to the action shop, you have lots of different currencies in this conquest. So it will only be dropping the first and second currencies in this stage. You need the third, fourth, and fifth based on the colors. But you don't need that much of them, although I haven't grinded as much to purchase some of the items here. Just look, we have lots of uh, gears and equipments that are good. You have to get them all and promotion scrolls. Some stuff are related to the currency. But once you got everything you want, you can just focus on grinding this stage because it's the best one. And that's also the aim of this video, to talk about how to grind this effectively. All the other stages are not easy to solo, but this one is. Now, um, there's another thing I want to discuss that is not even related to the event, but I haven't made a video about it yet, so I guess it's now a good time to touch on the subject. There is a new equipment to get in the Aurum shop. Just click to exchange and then go to Aurum exchange and you see this twilight robe. That's amazing. It gives resistance to almost everything, but it's weak to fire and has a resistance to ailments as well. Very useful for people that need... Uh, resist in order to trigger their passive. So let's grab this one here and do it yourself as well if you haven't yet. Now we should move back. First of all, just so that you know, the HP cap is 2730. That's always 10 more than the game shows. So the first character that I'll be using here is the latest Saru, and he's strong enough to just instant kill with one hit and a use of immortality. And you can bring four trainees, just bring the new Godspeed's transformation so that no one interferes. Okay, Saruin has a lot of damage. It's a 4S attack. He already has lots of damage passives. He's doing around 350,000. This enemy has just 300, I think. In the same formation, another character that works super well is this cool version of Bertrand with his dedicated weapon. He has this Tenebrae Glaces that attacks first with Shadow and then later with both Heat and Cold, but it's strong enough to kill it, but it's two attacks animation. Let's see how much we get here. Do we be higher than Saruin? I'm not sure. Well, not higher, but still enough to kill. Higher than 300,000. Another character works well here is Rofus, the original version with the Remembrance Gun in the Godspeed Stance formation. It's funny how strong still is. Well, Ruff is not capped, he's just here for damage, and let's see how much we do. 113,000. Well, we have less than 250,000, so the boss doesn't have 300, it just has 230, I guess. Another one that should work is the third version of Plian. Well, he has enough damage here, and just bring the Remembrance Gun in the Godspeed Stance formation. Well, he's not the fastest damage dealer, but he just simply works, so... If you need some status for him, if you are training for Remembrance, bring the guy to hits. More than enough. Another one that works is Death. Same Godspeed stance formation, and he doesn't need a Remembrance weapon, just one made for RS1 will be more than enough. And if you train it sorry already, well, it's time to train Death. And once more, this is not a fast animation. It's Kind of slow, but another one that needs to be trained. We need that for some future challenges. And another not so fast character we have is Albert. Yes, and you don't really need the Remembrance Weapon, I guess, but I equip it him with. Just use Left Fork and Godspeed Stand. Okay, let's see how many hits we need. We got a combo though. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he kind of needs the 5 hits. Well, the next character that works here is Rock Bouquet. Yeah, because if you have her fully maxed, 
is going to have enough power to kill the enemies via Ampo Noir in her chase Dark Poke shot. Well, you should just have the full equipment and even promote her, but she gets pretty close of not being able to do, but strong enough. So let's see how much damage we get here with Brock. First hit on Paul Noir. Did 164k. The enemy is still alive, but I'm not fully maxed, hence why it didn't solo. But I have confirmation that it can't work for full solo. Another character that will work here is Hardy. Yes, you can even go. Another character that will work here is Hardy. Yes, you can even use Godspeed Formation because this will only increase STR, but we will allow him to always be fast. So Mighty Martial Strike is too strong and enough to kill. I think he will do more than 300,000 damage. That's what I believe. Yeah, 330s. One other mage that can be used is Joe. Yeah, no matter the version of Joe, if she can use Sparkling Ice on turn 1, it will be more than enough damage, even if the enemy is not weak too. Okay, let's see the damage here. Sparkling Ice. 122k. Second hit. 122k as well. Still more than enough. He has 230s. The last character I'll show you is Virgil. With his musical style, he can just use Beat Blast on turn 1. And you can even use Resen Weapon with him and it will be just fine. Okay, let's see the damage here. One hundred and thirty-seven, pretty close of not being able to do, but still enough. He's still far from being capped, so I can get stronger. But that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this can help you with your grind. This event will still be useful for grinding for the next days, even if a new event comes. Just one wave is very nice. So please click the like button and leave a comment if you are using a different squad. Don't forget to join our Discord server where we talk about Saga and other games in general. Hope to see you soon in the next video or live stream. Bye.